to God be the glory, great thing he has done. Uh, today, by the grace of God, I want to uh, give out this message to all the children of God and those that are yet to become children of God. I want to speak on the relationship with God. And, and I'm taking my text from the first book of uh, the Bible called Genesis chapter 38. And um, by the grace of God, the Bible character that I want to uh, share the experience from with you is Joseph the son of Jacob. Now the Bible passages, Genesis 39 from verse 1, and Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down hither. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he, he did to prosper in his hands. And Joseph found the grace in his sight, and he served him. And he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had, he put into his hand. And it came to pass, from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and uh, in the faith. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not what he had, saved the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. Yes, the message is based on the, your relationship with God. We can see the relationship Joseph has with God here, which we can emulate. We can, we can receive the same favor from God if we can keep our relationship with God. Initially, Joseph, you know, was loved by his parents, even by his father. They gave him the coat that is different from all other children in the family, the coat of many colors. By one reason or the other, this coat was ripped off him because God showed him where he is taking him to in life. Probably we can say he has revealed his destination unto him by the ways of dreaming and relating the dream with the family, and by that the, the whole the other children they rose up against him. They told they, 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 they told him that in your dream, the interpretation of your dream means that you are going to be lords of ours. They don't want him to be lords of them. But believe it with me, whatever God proposed for your life, whatever the plan of God for your life, whatever, wherever God is taking you to as your destination, He will take you there. No matter what anybody raise up against you, no matter wherever enemy rose up and rise up or, you know, to, to block it up, it won't be possible for enemy to downgrade or to block it. But what we will do is to maintain your relationship with God. Then Joseph was sent to his brother in the field. 
to see the welfare. Then, as they saw him, they conspired and rid him of his coat of many colors and sold him away. Now, they are him and their belief is that 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 he had that um, he has related as a dream they want to see where it's going to be fulfilled they believe by selling him out to another country or to wherever they thought they can sell him that will stop god bringing to pass all that he has proposed for his life but to believe it, he was rid of his coat of many colors, but was not rid of his God. Because where I read, it says God was with him. He himself was with God. Though he was sold to Potiphar, the God of Pharaoh, an important person in the public, well, this is where God led Joseph to in order to learn. He was brought down to Egypt. You know, Egypt defied the world. No matter what happens to you, if you are with God, wherever you find yourself, wherever problem, situation, you know, drive you to, if you are with God, and your God is with you. What God proposed for your life cannot but come to fulfillment because it's God. What you need to do is to keep your relationship with God no matter what anybody is saying. You might be brought down but you are not going to be perished. You might be beaten down but you are going to rise up again. You might be ripped up of your coat of color, many colors, but if God is still inside of you, yes, one with God is a majority. Let every tongue rise up against you in judgment. The Bible has promised that they shall be condemned. Now Joseph was there and uh, his God was with him. Even through him and for his, for his sake, the Lord bless this Potiphar, the God of uh, Pharaoh, the Lord bless his house, the Lord bless his feet. And this man realized that because of Joseph, he has been blessed. Therefore, he made him to be overseer of all what he had. You can see now that the people of Joseph have sold him but God was a thing. And the character of Joseph did not change. Good character is the best. Because wherever you find yourself, be good. Try to be godly in speech, in behavior, in whatever you are doing. You might be under a wicked man but to try to maintain your good relationship with God. But you might be under some people that might be victimizing or provoking at work. Try to keep your relationship with God. Are you what you know what relationship means? If you relate to anybody, or probably you relate to your father, your mother, you have you you have to keep your relationship, you know, your relationship has to do with character as well. And then if you are keeping your relationship with God, then godliness must be seen in you. Character-wise, in speech and in activities, in movement and in behavior, keep your relationship with God. Be loyal to God and be loyal to to whosoever is around you. Let them see you and see the glory of God in your life. Let the people around you be affected with your good behavior because 
through this man Joseph, God blesses the house of this chief, Potiphar. He was highly favored because he kept his own relationship with God. So also, I will advise you to keep your relationship with God and uh, believe it, wherever God is taking you to, He will surely take you there, you will get there. And what God has proposed for your life, you will get there. The Lord will fulfill it. Nobody can stop God to do you good. Because when God is about to do you good, He will not seek advice from anybody because he is God. Joseph was highly favored and he kept his relationship with God. So my advice to you in conclusion is that you might be brought down, you might be rejected, people might say it is finished with you, people might say you cannot make it in life, People might have their different opinions about you, their different thoughts about you, but believe it, children of God, if you can keep your relationship with God, not what people say that matters, but your relationship with God matters most. People might say it is over, but I want to tell you it's not over. People might brought you down and God will raise you up in his own time. Keep your relationship with him. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He knows what he's doing and he knows where he's taking you to. That problem in your life will not end your life. Just keep your relationship with God and keep praying to God. Always singing praises even when you are in time of trouble burst into singing and praising God because God who has plan, who has good plan for your life is a God that no one could query, no one could challenge. Whatever he has said concerning you, he will fulfill it. Stand by him, keep your relationship with him and he will prosper your way and he will make you to be favored by people. You know he is the owner of all. He's the owner of life. is the owner of the whole people in the world. He can do and undo. God will be God. Why human being will be human being. You see, in the house of Potiphar, you know the, the temptation that came to Joseph, Joseph was that the wife of his master put her eyes on, on him in order to, to change probably to change his good character with God, in order to tarnish his relationship with God, he says, come and sleep with me, when it comes to a point. But Joseph refused. Joseph said, one word there, that if I do this, I will sin against God. Everything in this family is committed in my hand by my master, except from you. You are his wife. So how should I do this and sin against God? That is a sign, a good sign, and a good determination that he doesn't want anything to tarnish his relationship with God. So also, you as a child of God, when you come face to face with sin, try to say to sin that if I do this, I will sin against God. Because if you do it, Nobody might not see it, but God sees it. Whatever you do in the closet, believe it, it's going to be thrown into the open. So it's better you don't do it at all. So keep your relationship. Don't allow sin to tarnish it. Your relationship with God is so important. If you can keep it, you know, after that, truly, Joseph was being pushed out and being prisoned. And I want you to know that that is the way of the Lord for him. He has to go through that training. I can call it training. Because he went there and God was with him. He was imprisoned with his God. And when the time comes, 
God bring him out of the prison and make him an important person in the whole city, a prime minister. There is nothing God cannot do. And at the end of the, of the day, all the family that are sold him came to Egypt to bow down. You can see where you can keep your relationship with God, you are going to be exalted by God. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will, he will keep you and He will glorify Himself in your life. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will raise you up in due time. Your relationship with God is that matter. It shall be well with you, and I pray that uh, in all your endeavor, success shall be your lot, and uh, you will be highly favored. And whosoever has connection with your life, they will be they will be praising God with you. Thank you for listening, and may the Lord continue to bless you. My name is Hassan Fashina from CAC Outreach, and our address is 413 High Road, Tottenham, London. If you want to have your contact with me? Phone number is 07956-153483. God bless you till we meet again. Let's pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, you have spoken your word to your people. Lord, I want you to water the word that has been spoken. It's been planted like seed. Let it germinate. Let it yield the fruit that is worthy of emulation. And the change your, the life of the hearer. For the better, let your word, your word be fruitful in our lives and glorify yourself. Whatever you have proposed for our life, whatsoever you have proposed, Lord, let it come to the fulfillment. Thank you, eternal Lord of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.